Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and today I'm just going to show you some things that you can do with the layers. And these are a bunch of little things that you can do, but they are essential to uh, being able to work with the layers like nice and efficiently and everything like that. So let's just start out with some, of, um, some basics um, that I haven't gone over yet. So we're just going to start by... Uh, create a new, a new layer, which I have showed, but there are a couple ways to create your new layers. So the first one is by clicking down here in the bottom right on this little piece of folded paper down in your layers panel. If you click that, it creates a new layer for you, and this is just the basic regular layer that you can do pretty much anything you want to. The next thing I wanted to uh, show you is that you can take uh, images that you have in your uh, Windows Explorer or in your um, Mac Finder and drag them onto your canvas and then it'll insert a layer for you also. So I've got the um, Explorer open for me right now and I'm just gonna bring it over a little bit over here so it's not taking up like the whole entire screen. And I'm going to just grab something and just drag it right over and it'll place it here for me. Now, um, when you place it, it allows you to scale and everything like that. So you have that choice when you're going or when you're doing that. And then, then the last way to add an image is, um, or to add something here, to add a new layer, file, and then uh, place, and you'll be able to just select whatever you want. So I'll select this because I it's I don't have to resize it. And I just hit enter, and uh, there we go. So um, there's some ways to create new layers. Now, when you have a your layers in here, um, you're able to drag them around and reorder them. So if you click on a layer and have it selected, and you drag it, you're able to drag it into a different area. So that way you can uh, reorder what's on top and what's below. So for example, I'm going to take this business pig picture here. I'm going to put that on the top. And then we can see that this picture here of Joby with the bass um, is below the business pig in the layer. So if I drag the business pig on top of it, it's going to be over top in the layers also. So uh, that's how the layers work. Now, um, that's on the normal blending mode here, just so you know. So if you keep mostly everything on normal in your project, it'll overlap like this. Now if I bring Joby up above, obviously Joby is going to be over top in the uh, layers and uh, that's how the layer system is working for us here. So let me just move this out of the way and put him so he's not laying over top. Now you can move the uh, stacking order in your layers um, with your keyboard. And there is a hotkey, and I'll just type it out real quick for you. So it's going to be Control if you're on the Windows. And then um, if you're using the Mac, it's going to be, um, I think it's the Option key. And then you're going to either use the left, no, this one. You're going to use the left bracket or right bracket. And uh, the left uh, left bracket moves the layers down and the right bracket moves the layers up. For some reason that's like a tongue twister for me to say. It's I want to say black it for some reason. Oh well. Um, so that's how those work. Let me maybe drag this up here so it's not over, over any pictures or anything like that. But that's how you move things up. So I have this layer selected and if I hold down control and then use my left bracket is going to start going down in my layers panel. So take a look at the bottom right in the layers panel and you can see that um, I'm using those keys. <clears throat> now on the layers you also have these uh, eyeballs that are to the left here and these are your visibility. You can click on them to toggle the visibility and it'll just disappear from the canvas. Now if you go to save this image this um, this layer that isn't visible isn't going to save so it's not I mean it's not going to show up it'll save with the project and still be there but it won't show up 
when you try to save out like a JPEG or a PNG or something like that. So make sure anything that you want to have on is on and anything that you don't want to save in your final image is off. So if you hold down Alt and then you click on the visibility for a layer, it will solo that layer. And by soloing that layer, you can get rid of any distractions and just solely work on that layer if you really wanted to. Or if you're working on like a canvas that has a bunch of different things in it, um, but you want to just like save certain things out as an image, then just solo each layer and then save them out individually like that, if that makes sense to you. When you add a layer, you have the option of adding a layer and selecting options at the same time. Now if I create a layer just by clicking on this layer button right here, it's just going to create a layer and we, we don't get any options. It just creates a blank layer for us. Now if I hold down the Alt key or the Option key on the Mac, I'll click on the layer button here and then it'll give me options that I can do. I can name the layer. So um, I'll just type in a name. You can check this here to um, use your previous layer as a clipping mask. So if you select the checkbox, it uses the image information from the previous layer to mask elements from this layer that you're creating right now. You can assign the, a color to the layer. So I'll just give this like a green and then um, you'll be able to select from colors if, you ha if you're like trying to like search for certain layers and everything like that. We've got our uh, mode over here and it right here and it uh, gives you the different blending modes that you can apply and I'll have to go over the blending modes at some point it's a uh, um, I'll go over each one of these blending modes and try to tell you what each of them do at some point in time because uh, they some of them work the same and some of them work differently and then you've got a chance to toggle the uh, what the opacity is going to be through this slider right here and that's how opaque or transparent something is so if I hit OK, it creates a new layer for me. And as you can see, that layer has been colored green on the visibility. And uh, you can end up searching by color here. And it'll pull up all the ones that are that color. So it's a good way to group things up um, that you need to work on if you've got an idea of what's going on. So I'll go back to kind and as my search there and that's uh, that's it for that part. So uh, that's good for uh, this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we can start with like uh, groups and selecting layers differently and things like that. Um, we're already like eight minutes in for this one, so I'll just switch over to a new one so I don't keep my uh, tutorials too long. And that way, you guys don't have to sit through stuff you already know. So thanks for watching this tutorial. And uh, thumbs up if you like, and subscribe if you want to see some more. Have a good one, everybody.